Hey everyone, it's Eva Mika Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. Now you're probably wondering, like, oh, Jono, what are you doing at Stark Mountain again? Well, I figured that since there isn't really much of the game to go, we might as well start going after all of the legendary Pokemon. Um, now Heatran is at the back of this cave, which is he was. He, remember that back room that we went to before? Um, where we where, where we finished Team Galactic off? Well, that's where Heatran is found. So uh, let's quickly go ahead and head out there now. There are an item or two that I want to get on the way there, though, which is why I'm going to be showing how to get there again. Uh, and also in the case of people actually missed the episode that I uploaded to actually get to that back room, uh, I'll be doing that again, though I'll be doing a shorter way of doing it, because now that we don't have Buck with us, we can actually use Rock Climb to get to the back room. So it's going to make it a lot easier to get there. Let's just push this bolt out of the way there. And it's really quite easy to get through the front room. The back room is where the most of the trouble occurs uh, when you're going through with Buck because of your limitation to using um, Rock Climb. But, like I said, once Buck isn't here, it's really quite easy to do. Now, the reason why you can't come straight back in here to catch Heatran after you've already been here with Buck is because... Um, you need to talk to Buck's grandfather first. Not that there's, there's really any significance about that. It's just that it's sort of a part of the same event. So he trained when appears straight away. So you have to go away, talk to Buck's grandpa at the, at the survival area, which is what we did last episode, and then come back here. I know it's really dumb how that works, but whatever. Okay, right there was a Max Revive. Probably one of the best items you can get in this place because you actually can't buy Max Revives. And they're probably one of the best items ever because it fully revives your Pokemon from any status model it may have had before it fainted. And it... Like, it acts as a normal revive, obviously, and it fully replenishes its HP. Well, I've used it before, so I don't really know why I'm going on about how good it actually is, but, yeah. Okay, so, now that we've kind of gotten the item that I really wanted to get, I guess we can just start heading back up to Heatran, which is just over here. This, uh, it, this will take you directly to the room. Now, you, like I said, you can't do this with Buck. Okay, and right here is Heatran. Heatran, the Fire Steel type Pokemon, Legendary of Sinnoh. Um, it's level 50 in Platinum, it'll be level 70 in Diamond and Pearl, so I guess you guys are kind of screwed in that version, and... Don't think Vaporeon is going to be the best choice, because I think Vaporeon might KO it. So I'll go into Infernape, I can't remember what its ability is, I think... Not 100% sure if it's Flame Body or not, I really don't remember. Wow, my memory's been terrible though, just when I really needed my memory as well. Okay, it's using... Lava Plume, which is one of its most unique moves. I guess we'll just go Flamethrower, and it's Flash Fire, okay. Far out, okay. So yeah, Flash Fire is an ability that raises the power of Fire-type moves if you use it on the Pokemon that has the ability. So okay, let's just go into, god damn it. I really don't have anything that's gonna be able to do any super effective moves on it without killing it, which is kind of a problem. So we're just gonna have to chip away at its HP. Uh, let's go with Spark, I guess. It's probably one of the better moves I have on Luxray, right though, for Heatran, that is. It's not going to quite take it. Hopefully, I can paralyze it, though. That'll be really... Okay. It's using really dumb moves. I don't know why it would lower my speed for, because in the end, I'm just going to be using Pokeballs or whatever on it anyway, so... And holy crap! I mean, even with that flamethrower that I use, it, I did a lot of damage. Then again, Heatran's a really, really awesome special attacker. It really is, yeah. Quite underrated for what it is. Don't know why I'd use Crunch Me. You think you just keep using Lava Plume? What a dumb Pokemon. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Soft reset time. Well, it only gave us, like... Barely gave us the speed in the volcano, okay. Barely gave us any experience. Okay, so we're back here again. Let's just see what Surf actually does, because I don't think it will kill it, though. Vaporeon's getting a stab for that, and his special attack's pretty good too. And it's gonna kill it, isn't it? I'm crying out loud. Back to the old drawing board then. Okay. Let's start taking this more seriously. Let's switch into Luxray now. 
I keep forgetting to change my p front Pokemon every single time I stop reset it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, come on! Are you serious? <sighs> Did it really have to do that? That is a joke. Where the hell are my full restores? There they are. Okay. And it's using Metal Sound, which sharply lowers my special defense. Oh, of course! Alright, screw it. Let's just get this over with. God. You know, the thing with Heatran, though... Um... Fire Steel is a really weird type. It's... It's defense isn't that great, though. For a Steel type, it's not that brilliant. I, I'm going to admit that now. Most steel types have a really, really good defense. This one is just pretty average for a steel type, I guess. Most steel type defense is, you know, ridiculous. But, um, yeah, this one is pretty average for a steel type Pokemon. I think it's, like, got a base of 106. Normally, steel types are about a base of 130, 140. So, okay, I guess I've got it down low, low enough for me to start throwing balls. And I'll just use a dust ball because we're in a cave... So, Dust Balls generally look better in a cave. Uh, yeah, there really isn't much more I can do it. What? Really? I'm having such good luck with Pokemon in this game. I really want these to actually start taking up time. Why am I catching them so easily? <sighs> well, whatever. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I mean, I guess it's really cool that I'm catching him really quickly, though, but I do want some sort of a challenge. Uh, hopefully, Dialga and Polkia. Then again, Dialga and Polkia actually have a pretty easy catch rate. Catch rate at 30, same catch rate as Chatot, so naturally, they're going to be pretty easy, and I don't have an escape rate, do I? Nope. Oh, gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'll see you guys on the outside of this cave. Alright, uh... Now that we're outside, I guess we'll cut the episode off there. Uh, one thing I want to do though before we cut it off there, I'm going to fly to Orbur City because now that we've caught Heatran, there is only three, uh, two more legendary Pokemon that I can catch legitimately. Uh, since the other Pokemon have to be caught through um, events and stuff like that. So yeah, okay, next time Pokemon Platinum, we'll go out to Dialga and Palkia. See you guys then.